season of the deep launch today and along with that the last wish weapons got reprised with entirely new perk pools and you can craft them now let me let you guys know that you can go ahead and pick up this quest from hawthorne and when you do a full last wish run you'll complete it and then you'll be able to go ahead and turn in 20 spoils to get a guaranteed red border now one thing i want to note is that i think that you may actually get two for the price of one whenever you complete this hawthorne quest because me and a few other fire team members we had more apex predators than we initially had counted but i can't confirm this i just kind of want to let you guys at least know about the hawthorne quest because it is useful it's just a quick head start and then after you do the hawthorne quest my main recommendations for you to do to, in order to go about farming really any red border from this raid but you know we're, we're hunting the apex predator in this video right you'll either want to do four ribbons and then a queen's walk or farm just pure cali the first encounter right the reason why i mentioned riven is because obviously every time you kill her you're going to be getting an ethereal key and then once you get four you have a fire team of six i believe there's 24 chests at the very end of the raid once you complete the queen's walk you and your fire team can each get four chests which is obviously more chances at apex predators which i honestly felt like had some pretty good drop chances from those end chests of the raid that's where i got most of mine i got zero from cali farming in fact if i'm showing any clips in this video of us killing cali it's with the crafted apex predator i got from doing ribbons and then a queen's walks here and there and of course with last wish being the pinnacle raid this week perfect opportunity to farm up a good amount of red borders and let me tell you you can easily get all five of your apex predator patterns in one day and craft it like i did in this video now why are people actually talking about this rocket launcher to begin with well let's bring up the perk pool and talk about it big dog now if you're looking at the perk pool you're seeing some pretty juicy stuff let me also tell you that this is an adaptive frame rocket launcher same as the hothead it's also solar which is also a plus as you can see in the third column you have some things like tracking module demo which indirectly got nerfed this season with starfire being nerfed maybe reconstruction and slideways is there pretty strong options overall in the third column and then in the fourth column you have things like frenzy which is always good surrounded is really niche explosive light the tried and true damage perk for rocket launchers vorpal is your absolute last option but you're crafting it so no and then bait and switch yes this is our first rocket launcher with bait and switch which is a 35 percent damage buff that you do not need an orb of light or orb of light orb of power in order to proc you just got to deal damage with all of your weapons within about three seconds of each other and you'll have a 35 percent damage buff on your rocket launcher you're then going to have that 35 percent damage buff for a smooth 10 seconds on a base version of bait and switch this is definitely the best solar rocket launcher in the game and you're definitely going to want to get your hands on this gun and pair it with your favorite solar special weapons maybe a cartesian coordinate or an empty vessel we'll be checking out to see how it does compared to some of the other metal rocket launchers like a blowout a hot head and a bump in the night but being the only rocket launcher in the game that has bait and switch and is an adaptive frame that alone is going to spell a great future for this rocket launcher i bet money on it let me know down in the comments below if you are out there farming for your apex predator or you're about to go start farming for one as soon as you can also let me know your desire to roll for this rocket launcher in the comments as well because i believe there are quite a few options to go for this video is mainly designed to let you know about the rocket launcher and the best ways to go about farming for it and we'll do some more videos with this rocket launcher in the future thank you so much for giving me almost four minutes of your time today i greatly appreciate it consider using the subscribe button as a form of cover you guys be safe and we'll see y'all in the next one